More legal trouble for ex-San Francisco Sheriff Ross Mercurimi. The former lawman was, no show, was a no-show in court today. KPI X5 reporter Susie Steimel is live at City Hall, where Mercurimi had been summoned to defend his dog. Susie? That's right, Liz. Former Sheriff Ross Mirkarimi is no stranger to controversy here at San Francisco City Hall. And today he was summoned for a vicious and dangerous dog hearing that, as you said, he didn't show up for. And the woman who summoned him here today says as a former sheriff, she thinks he should have known better. Former San Francisco Sheriff and Supervisor Ross Mir Karimi was supposed to return to City Hall today for an accountability hearing, this time for something his dog allegedly did. And then um, and I said, oh, my God, he's really hurt. And Marty Cobb says Mir Karimi's dog attacked her Chihuahua buddy in Potrero Hill back in March. She paid nearly $800 in medical bills from bites to Buddy's face, neck, and leg. Marty says Ross Mir Karimi dismissed her initial concerns. I said, oh my God, because I saw a cut and then Buddy went like that and flipped a little bit, his face opened, and I'm like, oh my God, look, and he said, I don't see anything. Today, Mir Karimi was a no-show. I mean, he's the one that was there and saw everything, so I don't know why he's not here. Instead, his wife, Eliana Lopez, appeared to defend their boxer, Kyra. Did you guys talk about because he was there, maybe he should have come? No, because the hearing was about Eliana. She points out the summons only lists her name. Eliana shared some of the controversial spotlight her husband attracted during his time in office. She came forward saying he physically abused her, which nearly lost him his job. She later defended him. By comparison to some of the other controversies surrounding this family, this dog hearing may seem less serious. But ask anyone here, it's not a room you want to be in. I feel like I was at the zoo and a, and a lion snatched my baby. The stories are incredibly emotional and often lead to the decision to euthanize an animal. That's not what Marty wants. She doesn't blame the dog, just its owner. Um, just to, to know better when his dog's playing or not, and until he can know that to keep uh, the dog as safe as possible, maybe get the dog some training. Buddy, the dog that was injured in this case is doing okay. The judge seems to think that the best option for the boxer accused of attacking him would be to enter some training with its owners, and its owners say they're certainly open to that. We're live at City Hall. Susie Steimel, KPIX 5.